If you're looking to improve your aim, then make sure to check out Control Freak and use the code OGXRAYS to get 10% off all the products. Link in the description below. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Sekiris. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies video. Today, we're going to be talking about our four characters, their backstory, who they are, and a little bit about what's going to happen into the future, hopefully. But with that said, if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a favorite. And of course, if you are new, if you enjoyed the video, want to see more content like this in the future, then make sure to subscribe. But with that said, we're going to jump into who these characters are and, of course, what their character names are because a lot of people don't know what their names are or just a little bit of a description about who they are personality and stuff like that all we know at this point is that they're at this city which no one knows the name of first i want to start off by mentioning that the city that they are having this giant zombie apocalypse in is called morgue city that's right morgue city so that's a pretty pretty awesome name for a city that's being overrun by zombies but we're gonna jump straight into it, characteristics, and a little bit about the story for each character. We're gonna start off with Jessica, who is the femme fatale. So for you guys that don't know what that is, it's basically a woman who seduces men, and we're just gonna leave it at that. But basically, Jessica was a burlesque dancer who worked at a nightclub. She had dreams of being a movie star, or she figured that she was good enough to be in film, so she thought very highly of herself but she ended up working as a burlesque dancer. Uh, she ended up just seducing men and trying to manipulate them and use their wealth and stuff like that. Uh, but specifically, in the trailer, we see her seducing a man. And this person who actually is in a bed, he's being tied up. He thought he was gonna have a good time, but instead of that, she ended up grabbing some scissors and apparently killing him. So that's what she does. And each one of these characters actually ends up making it to the city because apparently of the sins that they have committed. Now the next person is going to be Nero who is a magician. The weird thing about this is that Nero was actually born into wealth so he was a very wealthy person still is a very wealthy person and he surrounded himself with a lot of lackeys and people who would just follow his orders he's not good people bottom of the barrel people and because of his wealth and because of the way that he was you know this lifestyle basically ended up making Nero a very arrogant person now what we noticed from the trailer itself is possibly the sin that he committed and in the trailer you see him tying up one of his assistants and throwing a knife at her now at first you think to yourself he's a magician he's just throwing knives they do this all the time but the fact that he actually tied up her arm is one thing that could indicate that maybe he wasn't just trying to miss maybe he actually tried to hit her we don't know if that was a sin that he committed that ended up bringing him to this nightmare morgue city now the next person we see is going to be vincent who is a cop or in this case a dirty cop vincent is a dirty cop who spent years taking bribes and framing innocent people all of these sins that he's committed in the past that leads him as well to morgue city it all comes back to haunt him after he becomes the prime suspect of a department-wide corruption investigation now what we do see in the trailer that backs this up is that he is taking money from someone and then he ends up later killing someone he hits him in the back of the head and then pops a few rounds in him now the next person and the final person that we're going to talk about is going to be campbell who is the boxer now campbell is just a very rough very bloodthirsty kind of person and he's actually a boxer he's the kind of person who does anything and everything to win including cheating and he does this by not only removing the padding in his gloves but also having brass knuckles under his gloves under his wrap so he's he's someone who just is not looking to just win but is also looking to cause some serious damage now, the last thing we do want to talk about is going to be the person who's actually narrating this cutscene this person is simply known as the shadow man at the moment and he's just the random narrator we don't really know anything about him he's a bit of an enigma at the moment but we do know more about the other characters let me know what you guys think there's a lot of people who actually don't even know the names of the characters it was very secretive they only i think released the names of the characters during this actual panel at san diego so anyways guys thank you so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed this if you did leave a like leave a favorite we know a little bit about who these characters are where they came from and why they're there so anyways guys thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed it leave a like leave a favorite it does get the content out there helps the channel grow and of course if you aren't new if this is the first video you're watching want to see more content like this stay up to date with the storyline and a whole bunch more as more information comes out then make sure to subscribe but anyways guys i'll see you guys next time i'm extra i'm out like comment subscribe check out my patreon page if you want access to content earlier than everyone else i'm out peace <laughs>